So this is the other side of winter sign for top eight. Infectious and Machabo. To be honest with how they've been playing, like the top eight winner side makes pretty good sense for Evo this year, right? To see, like, so Idom has been playing super well. He's been traveling a bit more. He's doing fantastic. It's fantastic. It's Sentry Gun for dropping the Twitch Prime. Thanks very much. The other side, you have Bonchan, who's been playing out of his goddamn mind. And you have Infectious and Machabo, both of who have been, like, having basically their best year on the CPT ever. Like, they've been crushing it. Infectious is a very, very good player who recently got picked up by Psy Games and is just killing it. I think I like the way Infectious plays, too. Oh, yeah. So, off of Fierce in a switch on regular hit, you're plus enough to get a down jab. But you can only actually combo that into something if, like, uh, what's it called? You're really, really, really close. You have to be, like, point blank. So, that's why it didn't work there. But, yeah, I mean, it's not surprising to see the two of them here. All, another thing is... He likes to stay in old Zeku, and he likes to use Bushin flips a lot. And I'll tell you what, both uh, Machibo and Bonchan are so good at stuffing the flips. It's crazy. Nice buffer. Beats the Gram. Walk up. That stuffed Roundhouse. Nice. So every time Nikali does a stomp, you should probably always do that. Walk back and hit a button. And uh, if there's not a gap, nothing will come out. If there is a gap and you avoid it, you can walk back and get whatever. Yeah, a little too late on the cancel. You can actually frame trap people with that. Uh, and you can also get hit out of it. It just depends on your timing. Deader than fucking dead. Rising Star Machibo. Can't believe he made winner's top eight. Evo champion. That's crazy. I can't believe that word. Machibo, if I had to characterize what he is extremely good at, it is uh, anti-airs and just this. He's like the big fundamental is what I think about him. He is like the big fundamental on this character, right? Like, he is really, really good at the basics. Anti-airs, whiff, punishes, ground game. Like, he just does all those things, like, super, super well. And it makes sense, right? Because he's transitioning from another game that's extremely fast-paced, hectic, crazy. Like, and then he comes to this game, and he has all those skills in that game, and he can do it here just as well. Just as well, Static Guardian, who dropped the 510. Thanks very much. Damn. Super kind of you. Yeah, Machibo's ability to uh, control neutral and just measure, like, answers to things. Like, okay, this is happening here. How do I stop this? He's, like, really, really good about formulating, like, a basic game plan and sticking to it. When your, like, background is such a crazy fast game like Gear, switching to something like Street Fighter will make it so that queuing up answers to all the different things you see will be a big strength. Nice counter hit combo. He is a Guilty Gear Evo champ. Yep. Yeah, low medium kick reaches. Oh, that's a big punish. EX air throw. EX uppercut. No. Oh my god, he lives. He's going to command. Oh, I thought he was going to command throw again. Wow, wake up fierce. It's probably a viewer. Huh? Woke up standing medium punch and punched him out of the air. He did fierce and beat him out of an overhead. It was a V-reversal. What do I know about Street Fighter? Infectious's face, man. The funny thing is, like... If you ever see him just like hanging out, he's just like always like chilling, he's relaxing, he's smiling and shit. And then you see him in tournament, this motherfucker is serious. Roasting him? Uh, look, I'm not trying to roast anybody. If you don't know what a character that's been one of the most popular characters on the CPT's fierce button looks like, I don't know what to tell you. 
Or Nikali's overhead. Nikali's been in the game for, you know, a couple of days. What? Oh, I guess he faked the crouching line kick. He didn't want to go for uppercut. That was weird. Or uh, he wanted to bait the uppercut. I'm just a simple-minded DBFZ commentator. Wow, he should have done a, a regular flip, actually. But I don't think he expected that to happen. Clip the medium. Probably jumping. It's so funny, right? Because Infectious plays so little of um, old... Uh, sorry, young Zeku. He plays so much old Zeku. There's that buffer. He did that twice at the beginning of the round. He plays so much young Zeku. Or so little young Zeku. In this matchup in particular, he plays so much old Zeku. And old Zeku is good at like controlling the ground. Yeah, that's a risky flip. That's one of those flips that could give up the round for sure. Damn, that was fucked. This is so scary, man. The fact that he hasn't switched and done slide activate is like the weirdest Zeku thing ever, right? Every other Zeku here would do that. Nice. Like, that, that moment, yeah, you're one hit from dead, right? Because, yeah, Fierce will kill you, and also Medium Punch counter it will kill you. Any button into Stomp will kill you. On the other hand, I'm surprised that he didn't switch at all to young Zeku, and he just stayed in old Zeku. That is such a, like an infectious thing to do. Because everybody else there, I think, swaps into old Zeku and or uh, young Zeku and slides. Everybody else, right? Yeah, fierce and a heavy gram. I think that only works on uh, counter hit. I think you still have to do medium gram if it's um, a regular hit. You can also get fierce on counter hit, switch into medium fierce. The one thing that uh, old Zeku has that's really, really useful is he has good buttons, like stop sign buttons to keep you out. <laughs> Crouching medium punch is super good. And uh, so is standing light kick buffered into gram. They're both very solid. Damn, he's going to eat another throw. Nice. Roundhouse activate. That button has some lean on it. Yeah, Infectious does that quite a bit. He ends the string early if he sees that you blocked it on the V trigger. They both kill in one hit. Oh, yeah, the overlay. That's right. They are having issues with the overlay. Fierce, fierce. Nice. That works basically at, like, max range of fierce, fierce. Normally, fierce, fierce, you get run slide. But with critical art, it makes it, like, super, super damaging and really scary. That's why that's a one-hit match. I think in general, too, like... If you're going to play, if, if you're in that kind of situation, right? He didn't go to Young Zeku the last time he was in the same spot. And I think the walk speed and the ability to confirm in a critical art make it better to play that um, stance. Yeah, that's 50-50. Command throw or light kick for the dizzy. I like him keeping that string tight, by the way. Yeah. Backdash jump fears. He gave him space and then just jumped back in. You have to heavy uppercut that kind of early, otherwise you can get dunked. Yeah, he's at match point. I forgot that uh, you can't see the overlay. It's 2-1 Machibo. Yeah, you'll take that. Back throw is no good, but you'll take the trade to get out of the corner, I think. Challenge and a flip. Yeah, I like the backdash, actually, from Machibo. At, mi at minus two there, I don't think old Zeku really has anything that you're that scared of at minus two to worry about. I, I mean, again. Late uppercut. Damn. This is big. V-trigger slide, of course. I think Machibo woke up EX command, though. Maybe he woke up with a command throw. Maybe he was expecting him to 
Oh, that would have been a next level read. Yeah. It couldn't have been an uppercut because that should have worked. Exactly, exactly. That back throw <laughs> does a shit ton of damage. I think he did uh he did back throw because if he got hit by uppercut, he probably would have lived, right? I don't remember the exact health, but I think he probably had enough that he'd have been okay. Infectious.jpg. Nice crouch medium punch buffer. Oh shit, he's dizzy. Man, he got run over so quick. Yeah, I think actually staying in old Zeku when you have the lead is okay. I think that he's pretty good at... Oh no, dash up back throw. Oh no. Command throw for Dizzy. Nice. That was really good defense. I think, like, as good as young Zeku is, old Zeku has a really good, uh, like, ability to close out rounds just by chilling, dude. Having the ability to EX uppercut, having the ability to anti air uppercut, and you having, like, crotching medium punch and standing light kick on the ground is, like, is really, really good. And also, his jab confirms are great, and they push people back super far, right? So jab, jab, that right there, jab, jab, Graham is so good. Plus, he has flips to get himself out of the corner. If you put yourself negative in the corner, he can challenge with, like, down jab, reversal, Bushin flip, and then get himself out. It's really good. I think that that's why I like him playing more old Zeku. Uh, I think also he jumps back here because the most likely thing Machibo will do after getting a knockdown out of the corner is dash up back throw. He doesn't, uh, what's it called? He doesn't really care whatever else it is. Wow, he had crouching medium punch? Jesus. There's a lot of damage, though. Is EX uppercut or not? Yep. Mix up, back throw again. Down, strong throw. I like that. There's like a, there's clearly a moment in this set, I think, where like Infectious goes from not playing very much young Zeku to close out rounds to being like, you know what, I should start doing that again. Where he went from like not using it almost at all and sticking with old Zeku to going back to like shit. I should switch slide V trigger. And I think him not doing that right away meant that it was more unexpected when he did it later on. You know? I think that that is um, definitely the right way to handle it. Um, this is the face of a man who made winner's finals at Evo.